guys, I'm back with one of my favorite projects. So I've done this project quite a lot. Maybe even I've done it with some of you. But the best part about this project is that you can do it once, you can do it three times, you can do it 10 times, you can do it 20 times and have them all look different. So I thought it was worth doing again, even if you've already done it, um, because it looks different every time. So let's jump in. So I'm gonna start with this piece of paper. And you want it to be a thin enough piece of paper to where we're gonna, we're gonna trace through it in a minute. So just your average piece of paper will work. This one's even a little thicker than a normal computer paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a square. So we're gonna take this corner and fold it over to the edge. And make it into a square. So it's folded like this. So we're going to keep this part and we're just going to cut this part off. So now I've got a square. And so you're going to keep it folded like this. And then you're going to fold this corner, let me do it this way. You're gonna fold this corner up like this to meet the other corner. To where you've got a triangle like this. So it was this way. And just fold it over. There's a triangle like this. And then you're gonna do it one more time. You're gonna take this corner and fold it to meet the other edge. A little triangle. And then we open it up, you have a square in all these different sections. You should have eight sections total. So, one more time. You fold it like this, and then just like this. Make sure all the corners line up. So now I have this little triangle. This is a project called Kaleidoscope Lettering. And so we're gonna use our name or your initials. Um, if you have a long name, you might wanna just do your initials. Or if you have a shorter name, you can do your name. You can do anything, it's just um, how detailed. The longer it is, the more detailed it's gonna be. So I'm gonna go in and write my name in this triangle, but you have to do it a certain way. So I'm using a pen but you might want to use a pencil for this part because if it's if it doesn't look right you might want to erase it because this is going to be the basis for the entire project so we're going to do it in block letters or bubble letters whichever you like better and i'm going to write my full name so the rules are you must use this whole triangle and the letters have to go start at the bottom and go all the way to the top don't want to stop a letter right here. You want to make sure the letters go all the way to the top. So here I go. I'm going to write my name in block letters. Look at this. Starting at this little corner. Go up. H. All the way to the top. All the way to the bottom. You want to think about making sure that it's spaced out evenly too. I don't want to stop my name right here. I want to try to make it go all the way to the edge. So that's why it might be best for you to use a pencil at this point to make sure you can erase it if, if needed. So I'm going to write an N. You might need to ask a parent to help you with this part. That's okay. One more N. All the way to the top. Like this. In. See, some of my letters are going off the page, and that's totally fine. My A. And I'm going to finish it, have enough room perfectly for my H. My name is a palindrome, which means it's spelled the same backwards and forwards, which is kind of cool. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go over it in Sharpie. 
But see where these places where the letters go off? That's good. So um, in the block letters, I didn't connect them at the bottom or the top. I am leaving them open. So I'm gonna just connect, or I'm just gonna trace those shapes with the Sharpie. And so you guys will wanna do the same thing. Just trace the shapes with the Sharpie, but don't connect the bottom. You can leave it open. If you have a thin Sharpie, that might be easier for you. If you have smaller things to trace. So now it says my name all across it's traced in Sharpie. And so now what you're gonna do is unfold it. And it's just taking up one section. So our job now is to trace this to every section. So what I like to do is fold it like this. And I like to go over to a window. So I'm gonna take y'all to go to a window on a sunny day I've been looking out the playground and you can see where you've traced this if you hold it up to a window you can see through it to trace it and so don't use sharpie on your parents windows but you can um, and even the camera isn't picking up as well as I can see it in person I can see it perfectly to trace it here so um, I'm just gonna use a pencil and trace these lines on this other side so I've traced that and I put it and then I outlined it in Sharpie again and you can see it's starting to make this pattern um, and so any way you turn it you'll be able to trace from behind the main thing you want to make sure is that you're tracing on this side of the paper you don't want to trace on the back side of the paper because no one will see it so just make sure you're tracing on this side of the paper so I have these two, and now I'm just gonna fold it in another way, maybe like this. As you start tracing these other sections, the what you would remember is to stop trying to see your name or your initials as letters, and start seeing them more as shapes. So you see this triangles forming, I'm gonna trace that. I don't wanna see this as an N anymore. I'm trying to see the shapes that are starting to connect, and so trace those out. So you can see it's starting to make this cool pattern and um, I just am going to keep tracing. So if I fold it this way, I actually can see all the rest of the squares through the light that I need to trace. So I'm going to go ahead and trace those. So now it's totally traced out and all outlined with Sharpie. And so this is the pattern that my name made. And um, I have a lot of straight lines in my name, so it looks kind of geometric. But if you have a, any curly letters in your name, like J or S, you might get some fun curly Q patterns. But if you look closely though, in just one particular square, you can see that it says Hannah in each triangle. And they just come together to make this cool design. So from here, you can color it however you'd like. You could just do all purples, blues, and greens and make it cool colors. Or you could do all warm colors like red and orange and yellow and pink. Or you can just make it all rainbow, however you want. You can do it with watercolor. I've done it before with watercolor and just color in the lines. Or you can use uh, markers or colored pencils. I'm gonna use colored pencils today to color mine. So I colored mine with colored pencils and this is what it ended up looking like which is um, pretty cool. And you can't even really tell that it says my name unless you zoom in on one triangle. Yeah, everybody's name will look different, so I would love to see what yours looks like. So make it and show me in the comments below.